Is this $7 clamp light still worth having in your lighting kit? Well, let's find out. I just purchased my first COB light for my video lighting kit this last week. Review for that coming soon. And before that, I was rigging the crap out of this $7 clamp light that I bought from Walmart. And for some reason, I just can't get myself to take it out of my kit. Why, you might ask? Well, first, let's talk about the cons of this light. First of all, it's dependent on a bulb. Any light that's dependent on a bulb is gonna have a hard time giving you the amount of light that you need from a light for a set. So in order to get a more powerful light source, you gotta get a more powerful bulb. This light's pretty simple. You have a little socket to put your bulb in, and then you have this, the aluminum reflective material that's gonna shine your light forward. Obviously, a simple light. But because of that, this is a super harsh light. So softening it up, you're gonna need some third-party things to put on it to make it a decent light to give you soft lighting on your subject and other things that are going to help you that are going to help you improve your cinematography. The other thing about it is the fact that if you want to dim this, you run a super high risk of having non-dimmable bulbs in there and so you're going to get a lot of flickering and shimmer in your shot, which is really unattractive to the to the eye. So most of the time every time I use this light, I use it as a full power light. And so it's really bright and I end up diffusing a ton with this light. I almost put like two or three shower curtains on it. And if you wanted a real photo bulb to put into this thing, well, let me just show you. This big of an 85 watt photo bulb is gonna have a really hard time adjusting to any type of diffusion or colors or anything that you decide to put with this light. And so it's probably gonna melt the material or it's also gonna break really easy if it falls. There's gonna be nothing to protect it. And so if you want a real photo grade light to put in this, you're only gonna get harsh light. You're not gonna really be able to soften that. And that's a big con for me. The second part is the fact that the clamp, the physical clamp, the whole reason that it's called a clamp light is total horse crap. I mean, it's called a clamp light. Why not make the clamp worth using? Because this, well, honestly, I could stick it onto my friend's hand. You can close and open this with perfect ease and if you want this to like sit on anything it's gonna slide off super easy so obviously this is really fixable you just grab yourself a dollar little clamp that's super strong from home depot and that's gonna well keep it on your light stand forever but the one thing i hate about these clamps is how hard they are to freaking open like i'm actually getting kind of swole maybe i do need this but really just having one simple clamp option would have been really nice, but it's a clamp light. It's $7 at Walmart, I mean. Third con, the cord is way too short. I mean, this is my wingspan, it's about six feet. So this is six foot cord. Now your light stand is classically gonna be like four to six feet. And so your cord is just gonna be, you're not gonna be able to plug it into anything. And so almost 90% of the time, you've gotta have a second extension cord connected to this at all times. And any battery powered options, say goodbye because the cord is com completely connected to the light. So you're not gonna be able to use this outside unless you're using a generator with a ton of extension cords and some really bright bulbs. The fourth thing is it looks tacky. Just sitting here on my table right here and I'm just looking at my monitor and I, I just see it and I go, hmm, that's not really that cool. Now the 6D that I've got right here, that, that looks cool. That looks really nice. And if you're like me and you're shooting videos for clients all the time, you want your gear to make you look professional. The whole purpose of a matte box on your camera is to make yourself look professional. Maybe I'll make a video about it. So if you show up and your client sees this, they're not gonna think you're very professional. Now maybe if they see this new COB light that I just bought with a 47 inch softbox on it, well, they're gonna be really impressed by that and they're gonna enjoy your work and hence pay you more, refer you to more people, you make more money, blah, 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 blah. So this really isn't like a moneymaker light. It's not gonna make you look better. It's not gonna like make you look fancy. It's, it's just, it's tacky. It's meant to be in a shop. It's all that kind of stuff. But us filmmakers, us DIY filmmakers over here are 
turning it into a useful light. As you can see from some of my B-roll shots right here, you can see many situations where I have used this light. If you've watched any of my past narrative videos on my YouTube channel, 90% of the time in one of those videos, I am using this light to make those lighting shots. And especially when you start to put a bunch of diffusion on this thing, it's gonna make it even more tacky. And uh, stay tuned, because I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So instead of using this light on a client shoot, I'd end up renting or getting better lights that would make me look more professional and make me seem like I know what I'm doing, which I do, by the way. So anyway, enough about the cons. This light cost me a whole $7. What good does it do me? You can do so many freaking things with this light starting with these five. So number one, you can get easy soft lighting by taking a shower curtain, folding it up a few times and clipping it to the edge of your clamp light with some C47s or some clothesline pins for the layman. But for the young filmmaker, they're called C47s. Number two, no RGB, no problem. Take some cellophane paper of any color and clip it to the edge of your light with a little square and you can add some super vibrant colors to your video. Number three, this light can get in places that 90% of professional lights can't. Like here, or here, or even right here. Or how about just right here? <laughs> Number four, it's super portable. This thing packs up like a dream and you can put it in your lighting bag, no problem with all your light stands. It fits snug as a glove. Number five, it's also durable and cheap. These two kind of go together because I feel like you pay for durability most of the time, especially for tripods. Cheaper you go, the crappier they are. But with this light, $7, this thing is durable. You can beat the crap out of this thing and it's still gonna work for you. With dents and all, it just gets better and better. The more you break it, the more it works. If you drop it on the ground or bang it against something, it's likely not going to break on you. But even if it does, cause you know that stuff happens, a quick trip to Walmart and $7 later, you got yourself a new light. Can't really say that much for a $700 COB light. I don't know about you, but I don't have $700 lying around. In a lot of my short films and personal projects, even after I purchased my COB light, I still found myself pulling out that darn clamp light. For some reason, it just works. Nothing else will do. It's like that weird friend that you never really wanted in the first place, but you, you just can't let it go. It just keeps coming around. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever stop having this light on set with me. Even in the big times and things like that, I will most likely have this light in the back of my kids somewhere. It just comes in handy. It just shows up. It's a good kicker light. It's a good spotlight. And in some situations, it can even work as your key light. And with some help from some third party pieces, you can get yourself an extension cord, a dimmer, and some good bulbs. And this is a great light. And not to mention some C47s and a shower curtain. This light can be a tremendous asset on your set. I don't care who you are. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you like this video, maybe think about subscribing or drop a like or hit that bell button so you never miss out on new young filmmaker content. Good luck filmmaking. Thank you.